All right, it's another day. I'm going to start on the uh, hair, and uh, then I'll try to finish up the uh, suspenders and all that. I think I might just hold off on that. Uh, I got a couple of things I got to look up. I've got a pair of suspenders that I bought, but those are modern day suspenders, and I want to do a little more research into the type that would have been used in the 1800s. I used to, I got a pair of uh, some pants and, and the uh, suspenders that would have been up from that period. And I just got to figure out what the heck, I, I think they're probably over at my storage. Anyway, enough talking. I'm going to get busy. Time to play with some clay. I'm going to uh, make his hair long because they're, you know, if he's out prospecting, he's not thinking about his hair. Well, before I do the uh, back of his head, I have some sculpting to do on his neck. His backbone would show a little bit in the back. Not a lot, but just... He's not overweight, so he'd have a little bit of the uh, ends of the uh, spine showing here. Uh, what I'm doing right now is just making the back of the uh, pair of suspenders. Now this is a piece of leather that uh, joins the three straps. I'm getting that from the back of mine, and I don't think that changed a whole lot over time. I'm put some texture into the uh, straps themselves, the uh, suspenders I should have really done this before I put them on but I didn't think of it it just breaks up the uh, texture between the shirt and the uh, suspenders I'm going to have this piece just hanging down and I'm going to fill in behind it. I've got to uh, cover this board anyway, so anyway, I'm just going to, I can't have it hanging out there by itself, so i got to fill it in. Okay, I'm going to start covering this board a 
I'm not going to put a lot of clay on here. Just cover the board and give it some texture. I debated on whether to make the uh, hair really long, but I decided not to. That would just add a great deal to the cost of uh, casting the uh, bronze. Alright, the hair is done. I think it looks pretty good. Ah! Knocked over something on my phone. <laughs> anyway. Looks pretty darn good. I like the way the back turned out. I've got to fill in... Well, not too much. I do have to do that. But I'm going to do that... Uh, And uh, need to fill in just a little bit there. I'm debating on whether, whether to go to uh, the dollar store and just get some real buttons <laughs> and put them on. Why not? Whatever works. All right, I think that's going to have to do it for today. I can't think of anything else to do on this guy right now. Uh, before I can take it to the boundary, though, I have to bring the base up to just below the uh, bottom of the uh, clay itself. Uh, they have to have at least two inches um, from the clay uh, so that they, you know, covered with a board so that they can make a mold of this... Uh, thing and uh, I got this stupid sculpture off center on my circular base which big faux pas I wanted to have it on the circular base but it ain't gonna work that way now yeah I kind of like the hair this whole piece has turned out better than I thought it was going to Especially when you think of how this uh, whole thing came about. It came about from a mountain man piece I did that just, well, it, was, it had a great idea when I started on it, but it got a little carried away. All right, everybody. I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.